Hey everyone, welcome back to Static Cardiology here on EMTV. I'll be giving you a rhythm strip and a scenario. On the bottom of the screen, you'll see a timer for 1 minute and 30 seconds. This time closely resembles the average amount of time you want to be spending on each card during an actual National Registry exam. When the time is up, I'll be giving you an answer as well as a treatment. Good luck. 3, 2, 1. pretty messy. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it and see if we can identify it. So the first thing I like to do with any rhythm strip is to see how fast it's going. I'm counting 16 R waves, which would make the rate approximately 160. One of the next things I like to do is actually look for any real discernible P waves. There are a couple in here that seem to correlate to QRS complexes, but there isn't really a consistent P wave shape that I'm seeing, nor is there a consistent PR interval. Next thing I'll look at is the R to R interval. The R to R interval here is very, very irregular. There doesn't seem to be any sort of semblance of a pattern. Anytime I'm given a card where you have an irregularly irregular rhythm, there's only one type of phenomenon that can cause this, fibrillation. But because I have the presence of QRS complexes, this is going to be atrial fibrillation. So I would call this an atrial fibrillation with a rapid ventricular rate, or AFib RVR. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual scenario and determine whether or not this patient is stable or unstable. So we're dispatched to a private residence for a 77-year-old female complaining of shortness of breath. She reports that she's felt progressively worse over the last four hours. Your partner obtains the following vital signs, blood pressure 78 over 40, pulse 160, respiratory rate 26, SpO2 89% on room air, and a blood sugar of 102. She denies any history of cardiac arrhythmia or recent illness. Now, when determining whether or not a patient is stable or unstable, I use the acronym CHAD. And this, of course, stands for cardiac insufficiency, hypotension, alteration of mental status, and dyspnea. Based on this patient's current presentation, as well as her vital signs, she meets several criteria for CHAD. She's hypotensive and dyspneic. So my final diagnosis for static cardiology is going to be an unstable AFib RVR. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the treatment. Now just like with all my other static cardiology cards, I'll begin treatment by regurgitating the mantra, scene safe, BSI, IV O2 monitor. Because this is an unstable rhythm and it's tachycardic, I'm actually going to perform a synchronized cardio version. So I'll attach the pads to the patient's chest and press the sync button. Because she is alert, I'll consider providing some sedation prior to the procedure. I'll then select energy beginning at 100 joules. I'll then press charge. And then when ready, I'll press and hold the shock button to deliver the energy. I'll repeat the synchronized cardio version 
up to a maximum energy setting of 360 joules. But other than that, rapid transport. And that's it. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more static cardiology. And remember, you can make your own custom playlist using my cards to help you practice for your national registry exams. Until I see you next, have a good rest of your night.